C Sonic, the heart of your system. What's up everybody, my name's Andy and welcome to Kit Guru. So today we're taking a look at the Genesis Radon 720 headset. Now this is aimed at PC gamers. It is a USB headset with an integrated sound card as well as 7.1 surround sound. Now it's priced in the UK for $39.99. So this is a very good budget headset. So aesthetics and design. Well, this is definitely aimed at gamers because it's supporting the classic black and red theme. So both the cable has the black and red theme, but as well as the actual headset itself, because the cups are backlit, with red LEDs. Now, in my opinion, the red LEDs look excellent, especially because they have a slight kind of mesh design over the top of them, and it really makes the logo pop as well on both sides. So it's a very warm red color, and it's probably due to the diffusion of that kind of mesh on top of it. So it's not going to blind or annoy you, but you certainly know it's on, and I think it gives it a really nice touch. It's such a nice colored light. Now this light is automatically powered on once the USB cable has been connected to your computer. So looking at the frame, it's a black metal and it's got sort of four silver screws, which I think they've done this as a, an aesthetic choice. So the cups themselves are black plastic and they are of a square design. They have a black sort of faux leather head strap and ear cups as well and the head strap features the Genesis script across the top. On the left cup, you will find the volume control wheel on the sort of back area, and on the front, you will find the discrete microphone. Now, this is quite an interesting design choice as most opt for the sort of directional movable microphone. So personally, I definitely prefer this design as it's way more discreet, but how will it perform? Well, we will take a look at that a little bit later. So overall, I'm a fan of the direction they've taken with the Radon 720. I really like the soft look of the red LEDs, and generally, I'm not a fan of the kind of gamer black and red theme, but I actually think it works here. Comfort wise, they've opted for large, super soft foam ear cups and they're really comfortable. And it also helps with noise isolation as well. So even for extended periods of time, it's actually really, really comfortable. As well as the fact that the head strap can be automatically adjusted as soon as you sort of just put it on. So there's some wires going through that strap and as soon as you put it on, it just stays where it needs to be. And I actually really like this feature. So there's no messing around with clicking to specific placements or if someone else has used your headset, you don't have to, you know, reset it for any reason. You just pick it up, put it on and it's ready to go. So let's take a look at the specifications of the Radon 720. So straight away, the braided USB type A cable is 200 centimeters. The headset has a weight of 380 grams. And honestly, it doesn't really feel that heavy even over extended periods. Now the drivers feature a 50 millimeter neodymium magnet. It has virtual 7.1 surround, and it also has an impedance of 32 ohms, a frequency response of 20 to 20,000 Hertz. The built-in microphone has a frequency response of 20 to 16,000 Hertz and a sensitivity of minus 42 decibels. So what are my thoughts on the drivers and the actual sound quality here? Well, I listened to multiple albums here and I compared them to my studio monitors. Now, obviously these can't compare, but this gave me a good reference point and with critical listening, I'm actually really surprised and kind of even shocked because considering there is no software available for this headset, I was expecting to have to recommend downloading some sort of third party EQ software to get things right, but I'm a changed man. So the sound quality is excellent. They're very well rounded in terms of your bass, mids and treble, and every instrument is distinguishable and nothing seemed too distant or lacking. The 50 millimeter neodymium drivers paired with the integrated sound card make these sound as good, if not better, than dedicated headphones twice its price. And this, you have to remember, is a very affordable headset aimed at gaming. Thank you. 
Now the same can be said with listening to different genres. So I didn't just stick to the same thing. I tried to listen to a bit of everything and everything just sounded great straight away. I didn't have to tweak anything. I didn't feel like anything was missing. So Genesis themselves have this tagline on the product webpage. After listening to music with the Radon 720, you won't come back to any other sound set. Now, I wasn't expecting it at all to be true, but I'd actually agree with this statement. So what about gaming? Well, I chose to test these with FPS games because of the 7.1 surround sound. So with normal headsets that are in stereo, you can hear, you know, if someone's shooting you to the left or the right, or maybe behind that kind of thing. But with these, you could really tell like, oh, actually, you know, they're shooting from a, more specific direction like southeast or something like that rather than just to your left somewhere so you could actually have an advantage whilst using this and gaming and it helped with immersion as well but what about the microphone well first things first there's no on or off switch which is slightly disappointing however you could keybind this to your keyboard depending on what app or software you're running once again, I am very surprised here by the Radon 720. So I'll give you the sound test now and we'll reconvene once you've heard that. Okay, everyone. So this is a microphone test for the Radon 720. So as I mentioned earlier, it doesn't have a microphone that sticks out that you can adjust. It's literally just on this left ear cup just here. So let's see how much that really affects the audio because it's not sort of directed where your voice is coming from it's kind of like all around you instead so this is the first time i'm actually testing a microphone like this on a headset like this i can assure you there'll be no compression eqing or anything like that it will just be a dry recording so i may boost up the volume just if it's a little bit quiet um, but that's all I'm going to do so I'm just going to stop talking now I've got a PC literally just here I'm almost touching it and the fans are on so let's see if you can hear that and now if I talk like this you can see if it's affecting it as well so I'm just going to do another quick test where I talk a little bit louder, see if there's any clipping issues. I can't imagine there being too many plosive issues here because the microphone's not directed straight in front of my mouth. But if I talk really loud like this, is it going to clip? And if I talk really quiet like this, are we still going to be able to hear it? So let's jump back over and see what we make of this test. So what did you guys think of that microphone sound test? Well, for me personally, I thought this is where the headset was going to be let down. I really thought it was gonna be the Achilles heel, but I actually think it's really good despite the placement. There was no plosive issues, clipping issues, and it also handled whispering really well. So the recording was a little bit quiet, and the downside to this headset is that you have to adjust the microphone levels in your Microsoft system sound settings or the software you'll be running it through. But for me personally, this is only a minor issue because it is something that can be tweaked. It's not like you're stuck with it. So in conclusion, honestly, I was expecting budget quality at a budget price. However, I'm really impressed with the Radon 720 by Genesis. The build quality is excellent. There's no rattling or sharp edges. Listening to music leads to a very enjoyable experience. And for gaming, as they're intended, they're actually great and very immersive. So let's take a look at the pros and the cons. So the pros, there's superb sound quality due to the integrated sound card with the 50 mm drivers. They're very comfortable for extended periods of time. There's an automatic self-adjusting head strap, which I never knew I needed before until I actually tried this out. There's good noise isolation, and there's a pleasing soft diffused red LED backlight. Cons, well, there's no software for EQ adjustment, but personally, I don't really see a need for it because they're tuned really well. There's no on or off switch for the red LED backlight. It's just on as soon as you plug it in. And there's no on or off switch for the microphone either. However, if you can look past these cons, then this is an excellent headset for the price point. I, I really would say it's worth 
more than what they're asking for it. So if you're in the market for a budget headset, definitely check out the Radon 720 by Genesis. So if you've liked this video, make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe and ring the bell. You can find our merchandise down below. And if you'd like more daily tech news, check out our Twitter and our website. So I've been Andy, this is Kit Guru, and we'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.